um, Prince Charles, now, well, now he's become King Charles. He's really putting his foot down. He's becoming a tyrant. He's, 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 he's really, um, really trying to change things. Um, well, I'm going to do a reading on this. The energy is behind, behind Prince Charles and his reasons for actually doing this. But what has he done? What has he done? He's actually kicked out, uh, Andrew from one of the stately homes. I don't know which one it is, but it's, um, it's quite a, a large one, but it costs quite a, a number of millions to uh, upkeep it and um, per year or it's too expensive to run. Uh, so he's been evicted from a, um, a, a huge house and, and what, what, so there's possibly been some uh, arguments over that, and uh, so what? What uh, King Charles has done is uh, kicked out uh, Harry from uh, and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage, and is moving in Andrew into <laughs> Frogmore Cottage. Um, I could look into Andrew and how he feels about that. I'm sure he's not happy about having. Um, you know, the Spire's kind of old house property, the Spire. It seems all about the Spire's, doesn't it? Uh, Prince Andrew was the Spire and uh, Harry is the Spire. And it's like treating these Spire's like they're, they're, you know, like they're not wanted and needed anymore. And that there's no use for you in the royal family anymore kind of thing. So why are you living in these big houses so i want to look at prince charles's energy around this um it it seems um i also pick up energies of holding a grudge uh against uh prince harry his son um i, I also get that he's quite a spoiled brat himself is is King Charles and uh, also all of them are spoilt brats, basically. Um, they're all spoilt brats and they all hate each other. Um, this this is the energy I'm getting is they all hate each other and, um, and they don't know how to deal with it because they just want to be uh, treated uh, properly and with respect. Um, now I'm asking the question is what what is King Charles's um problem here? Because this is really radical. It's nasty in a way. It's like saying, I'm gonna kick you out of that house, Andrew, and you're gonna be put into Harry's uh frogmore and and kick him out. And it's just it just comes across as quite nasty. So I get here the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles in reverse is losing his way. So I'm getting that Prince Charles is losing his way with his kingship. He, 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 it's like he wants to assert his authority to say, look, I'm king now. Um, and the way he's doing this is taking it out of people that that he's having a rifts with or he's having you know always having rifts with andrew is they he's always hated andrew and he's got he, you know he's having a rift with his son not capable of building on um fixing that i don't feel any of them are prince charles is or king charles is quite a weak character and that weak character is 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 too kind of weak to stand up to say well possibly a lot of this is my fault um and, and instead of that just blaming and this is what spoiled brat narcissistic types of people do they they blame others and um, pass this on to. So he's lost his way. So this is him lashing out at the spares because that's what these royal 
kings do. They lash out at the spurs and they take it out. That's what the spurs are there for, okay. I also get lawyers. Sorry, that flashed off there. Um, I've got lawyers involved. Lawyers, um, they've been sent a letter. You're out of that property and... Um, and this is trickery, uh, the magician card. So this is like, oh, I'm the king. I can do what I like, you know. And this is arrogance, total arrogance. It's I get like a Marie Antoinette kind of energy to this. It's like I can lord it up if I want and I can get rid of you out of that property and I can, I can play chess games with your lives and... You can't do anything about it. And this is King Charles, but he's struggling. He's struggling with, um, he's sort of having a little mini kind of meltdown. He's struggling with his position um, of being king. And he's struggling to have the strength here. And the strength card is, this is how he, he is showing his might as, as a king. And, um, you know, lashing out, there's going to be changes here and all this kind of thing. There's also celebrations. It's going up towards the celebration here of, of this forthcoming coronation, which is in May. It's like he's saying, you know, I am the king and I will do what suits me, what will suit my reign. And, um, and you're the first ones on the list that's going to tumble, kind of thing. Um, and this is 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 total. This is total arrogance. Uh, he is losing his way by being like this, um, and it, it's like he's throwing his weight about as king. But he's, you know, he's doing it to. He's losing. He's losing who he is. Um, if that makes communication uh, is zero with his son, I feel this is going to with Prince um, Prince Harry. This this is going to end that relationship. There's a lot of bitterness and being kicked out of Frogmore is just going to say, "Wow, where are we going to actually stay uh, when we, you know, where is our British property?" in the UK, where are we going to stay with adequate security? You know, that means that we will never be able to come and visit and come and stay in the UK because we can't afford to have unless we come and stay with, you know, in a room um, that's, I mean, what's the likelihood of that in a room at uh you know, King Charles's uh, residence. Um, so I get the devil card here. The devil card. He's just being a devil and he's being a tyrant. And and, and I, I feel Camilla is also behind this. You know, let's get rid of him and let's get rid of him. You know, it's time that you made them moves. I, I feel that Camilla has always been behind Charles in making decisions about, you know, when to, to leave Diana and what to do about Diana. But now, and we get this devilment around the Camilla uh, situation. She she is a little bit of a, a devil, you know, she's a little bit of a Jezebel in a way. Um so I, I get so what I get with this, the energies around Prince um uh, Prince Harry and um, um, Prince Andrew and um and the King King of England, which I don't I can't stand him to be honest. If you want me to be candid, I've never really liked Prince Charles. Um I feel that he's, this is a way of his spoiled brat attitude coming out. And um, he's suppressed this for so long, this hatred towards his brother, Andrew. His hatred towards his brother, Andrew. He's so jealous of him. 
because he was the Queen's favourite, um, that this is what he does when his mother passes, he becomes king, you know, um, and, and, and this is like the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is memories. It's like memories is Prince, you know, Charles back then remembers the way that uh, Andrew was treated and now he wants to stab him in the back for the way that he was the Queen's favourite. Prince Harry was the Queen's favourite. And so, you know, it seems like the Queen's favourites are all getting stabbed in the back. I get the Hermit card. The Hermit card is, it feels very isolated being the future King of England. He will be quite isolated. I don't feel that he will get along with William either. William will be treated like his opponent because he, you know, he will make a much better king than him. People like him better. So I get the king of wands here and he's becoming very much in reverse. He's becoming very much of a tyrant, very fiery, willing to manipulate and play these games. Um, fiery and obsessive that the Queen adored Harry and the Queen adored Andrew. And this is his way of this childish um, way of getting back up, getting back at them. Um, and that's the energies that I'm getting here for King Charles. Um, he is throwing all his toys out of the pram and he's, he's saying, no, I'm not having this. I'm not having you living in that beautiful house that the Queen chose for you. And we're going to pay for all of that. I'm going to evict you from that and stick you in Frogmore and actually kick out that uh, prat of a son of mine, you know. So um, this is what I'm getting with um, with the energies around King Charles and um, tyrants, nasty, not a nice character at all. And I'll leave it there, okay? Thank you for watching and bye for now. Bye-bye.